So let's continue with our course. We'll now make the circular explosions. The first thing we'll do is hide our layers, unselecting the eyes, and go to the rounded rectangle tool. Double click. Here a shape layer has been created with a rectangle. And notice that it has been created with the size as our composition, 1020 by 1080. Remove this option with a little chain so we can modify each value independently. 30 pixels width, 100 pixels height. We have as a result this small rectangle. We'll change the name, accept and type explosion1. And now we'll make an animation. You see that the content of the rectangle has two transform options. The one of the lower part is to transform the whole layer in itself, and the upper one is only for the rectangle. First we'll use the transform options that only affect the rectangle. Go to frame 0, click on scale and position keyframe. I move forward a second and put some more keyframes here. Remove the option of the chain and put 0% here. In the position, make it go upwards. See how it's going to go up this way. Where the scale reduces, this rectangle goes higher and we get the effect we were looking for. Put it up a bit more. Minus 380. And preview. Select all the keyframes. Right click, keyframe assistance, easy ease to give it that softness, and again we'll use our Ease and Whiz plugin. Select position and scale, and we'll put Easing Expo, type out, and apply. See that it's now ready. Now as we've seen, our explosion is circular and we need to put copies around. We don't have to duplicate it, we'll just use an animator or shape layer effect. Go to Add, Repeater. Here we can see that they've already been copied, but we need to make it like a circle. So here in Repeater, we'll find another transform option. Let's remember the following. To make a circular explosion, the circles are 360 degrees, and in this case, I'll use 8 copies. So, if we divide it, it would be 45 degrees in the rotation. We'll put that number there, and in position we'll put 0.0. .0. Place the 8 copies, and now you can see the explosion. We'll modify the beginning a little. From frame 0 we can see that the anchor point is in the center and for this reason all our rectangles have been joined together. So we'll increase the values here to 150 anchor points. This will help to make the explosion more visible. Now let's preview and it's ready. Now we'll do the following. I'll close, minimize the layer options and put it under the text here layer. Make all the layers visible and preview it. Now obviously we shouldn't see the beginning, but if you want, you can. In this case my project is different. So I'll press U and we'll move it to frame 5. Preview and the explosion is ready. Now duplicate the layer while selected and with Ctrl D press U and here we have the next explosion which we'll, which we'll move to frame 10.
and press R to adjust the rotation. Set it to 25 degrees. Ok, preview and see that we now have a different explosion and it looks great. Now we'll add the third explosion by pressing Ctrl D to duplicate, having selected the explosion 2. Press U and we go up to frame 15. Preview, excellent! Finally, to make sure our work is tidy, we'll select these three explosions, press U to hide the keyframes and now we'll select another color, orange. Press U and now you see that the keyframes end here. So we'll go to the end of each layer and we'll cut by pressing Ctrl Shift D. Then we'll get rid of the part we cut out and continue. Now what if I wanted my explosions to last longer? I simply drag this like this, the length of the layer, and also the keyframes, select them and move them. Press Ctrl Z to undo. Let's move on to the last one, Explosion 3. Cut with Ctrl Shift D and delete the remaining parts. Press U twice to close, hide the keyframes. And there we have our ellipses and explosions, differentiated by color so we can see our project more clearly. In the next video we'll see how to create those rectangles that appear quickly and then the curved lines.